I'm Dave Dinkle and this is a continuing video series of actual recent deals and this is an example of a $9,260.40 profit on a simple $7,277 wholesale flip no money whatsoever in the deal. The following is a real estate deal that was recently completed by us or a student, in this case a student. Now this is an example of a double closing with the first leg of the A to B being done with a student using free transactional funding. The student got free transactional funding so there was no money in the deal, required no credit because there was no conventional lender involved, there was no risk because there was no money of his in the deal. I believe this is one of the greatest deals ever showing the power of persistence. The really interesting part was that the property was listed for $39,000 originally and the student made what he's supposed to do a usual and ridiculously low offer of only $20,000. What followed was a tongue and email lashing by the listing agent on how investors are stupid and on and on and especially how the agent had multiple offers above $39,000. But the student held his ground as he should have and said he would track the property to see what happened and that's exactly what he did. That's where we make our money in the follow-up, not in making offers. In a couple of months, the student checked the list price again and had been reduced to $18,000. Now remember, he offered twenty. dollars It's been reduced to below his offering price. The student called the agent and the seller said they will not take a dime less than $18,000. The student reoffered at $12,000 and of course the seller was to, supposed to have said no. That was according to the agent and said he had looked further into the property and felt he had to reduce his offer to six thousand dollars. Two days later the agent called back and said the six thousand dollar offer had been accepted. The student who purchased it for six thousand dollars wound up having to pay seventy two hundred. This is the HUD closing statement B to C. So there's the bottom line. Now here's the only number that counts for us. That's sixteen thousand five hundred and thirty eight dollars thirty nine cents. That's the net proceeds to the student at the end of the day. So here's the final result of the transaction. The student purchased the property off the MLS. It was a blind offer on a cheap property that had a retail value of about forty-five to fifty thousand as an after repaired value or ARV. The student did what I call a rope-a-dope with a listing agent. Net profit bottom line ninety two hundred and sixty dollars forty cents. 